All right, what's up, guys? Today, we're gonna be doing some prank calls. Stuff like lowballing people and like Craigslist ads, just like any kind of prank calls we can do to like a business. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like. Give us some ideas for future videos. Let's get right to it. It is a little hot out here, though. It is. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was just a little hot. It is so humid out here. I mean, I about look like I've been in a pool myself. A little drippy boy. I'm good. <laughs> a little wet. But hey, I'm not hot anymore. calling about that three bedroom, two bath house in Rockingham. And what exactly are you wanting to find out about it? So, I've got a little deal in mind. For 15000 I'll buy the house in cold hard cash. I'm going to go into it right now. They're not going to accept that. They do not negotiate. Listen, listen. But I have a not. history yeah. with them. I think I can finagle my way. I've done a couple things here and there, you know. I've slammed a couple dirties in a bar out southwest. But that doesn't change anything. Who, who is that that you're talking about? Yeah, so this is a, a foreclosure company. Oh, I know, but I, I just know, I know my way around the parts, you know? My dad actually owns a foreclosure company out in Clayton. Daddy, he knows a lot of people. He don't play no business okay, when it comes to these kinds of games. Sure, I'm just letting you know they're probably going to reject it. Trust me, they, they know me. Okay, well, if you want to submit your offer, see what they say. Listen, baby. If you could go ahead and put that offer in for me, I think you'd be mighty surprised by what the outcome could possibly be. Okay, well, let me give you my cell phone number. Just text me. Hey, you were calling, or you had the uh, thing on Craigslist about the uh, 1941 Lincoln, right? Yes, sir. What's your name? Uh, Danny, man. I'm sorry. Danny. Okay, this is Vanny. That's you. I just wanted to say you had it for 3500 right? Thousand. Thousand? Thousand, yeah. It's uh, 1941, right? 1941 Lincoln. So why is it 3500, right? It ain't supposed to be. There's probably 35,000 on the internet. Well, it was made in 1941, though. Something that old, like 35,000. Well, it might be 200 of them. It's worth 50,000. Who told you that? Man, I ain't got time to explain all this shit. Are you interested in it or not? Yes, I'm interested in it for 3500. No, I'm not going to buy a car that was made in 1941 for 35,000. I wouldn't even say you're a damn motor out for that, man. Goodbye. <laughs> I won't even send a damn motor out of it for that. <laughs> I was calling about the uh, 1965 Mustang. You had that offer on uh, Cla Craigslist, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and you said it was uh, worth 57000 Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I'd definitely like to uh, make an offer on that. That's all right with you. It's still for sale, right? Yeah, I got three people looking at it. Tell me what your offer is. Okay, I'm, I'm ready to give you a cash offer tomorrow, cash in hand of 35000 Oh, no, I can't do that. I'm yeah, sorry? I don't. Yeah, that, 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 nah, I'm not interested in that, but I appreciate it. I was looking to buy something that was more of a fixture upper. I and mean, this isn't even close to normal conditions, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Yeah, now this is, this, this one here is a show car. Let me tell you about this car. What? Bought it from a guy that was 83 years old, and he actually bought it from Meekum in 2014. And hadn't put but 1,500 miles on it since Meekum. So yeah, this is a Meekum car. It sounds like he got ripped off or scammed because I, I, am I looking at the right thing? I think I'm looking at something different from you. Well, you might be. Cause this one right here is drop dead showroom gorgeous. You said it was gorgeous. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, it's still, I just want to. I'll let you know. Cash in hand tomorrow. I I, I think I can go up to about forty thousand. Yeah, I've already got to offer me. A dealer tried to offer me forty five thousand. I told him I didn't do it, but I appreciate it. I just want to let you know that's a damn shame, and it ain't worth half that. But you have a good day. Oh, right, you do the same. Thank you. Hello. This is Melody. But how can I help you? Oh, okay, well, I was just calling about the listing for the townhouse in Raleigh for uh, 450000 I was looking to uh, put in an offer, but I had a couple questions first. Are you an agent or are you a buyer? I'm a buyer. Okay, do you have an agent you're going to be working with? Uh, no, I'm not. I, I usually don't deal with none of that mess. I kind of just handle my business myself. Don't let nobody do anything for me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay, let's see. It's a little bit more than that, but I need to... It's more than $450,000. Wow. It's listed at 489 Okay, so um, I was looking to uh, make an offer, but uh, cash in hand tomorrow, whenever I'm prepared to make an offer of, um, now don't be shocked when I say this, 
$289,000. Now, the reason I say that is because I, I went by the property, I saw the landscaping needed some work, and I wanted to ask who you had uh, doing the landscaping on that property. It's a, it's a townhome. You don't do the landscaping. The, com the, the actual company does it. Well, could you get me in contact with the HOA on who is doing the landscaping? Because I would like to hire my somebody or myself. I definitely don't want to use whoever doing that house. If you know what I'm saying. All right, sounds good. Well, thank you for calling. Wait, 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 wait one second. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, it's uh, did you say what was that? Oh, uh, okay, uh, pleasure speaking with you. I was looking at this uh, house here in uh, Lewisburg, um, wanted to know how firm y'all were on that price. Okay. Whatever the price is, if you wanted to offer something under asking price, that's always an option too. Right, you know, I mean, I'm thinking maybe we go down to about 150000 I did a look around the place. Landscaping was a little bad. I'm going to have to do something about that. Tiles coming off the roof. Just looks a little groggy, you know. I went in there the other night. I don't know if I was supposed to do that or not, but you know, I just wanted to look around. There was some crown molding in the living room that was, uh, it was cracked. That's just not something that I want to do with, you know. Okay, how about we book an appointment or set an appointment to go look at the property together? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't think you under, I've already been there toward it myself. Okay. I don't know where they got this price from, but it's just astronomical, you know? Especially in Lewisburg. You know what kind of creatures are around there, I'm sure. Oh, I know about Lewisburg. That education system, honey, I mean, Lord have mercy. Oh, wait. I don't know what they got going on up there, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can, uh, I can start drawing up an offer for you. All right, that sounds good. I'm I'm ready to get started on this thing, you know. Okay, 